Hi everyone, Sharon Brennan here, Cottage Lane Stamper. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and today I'm going to be showing you a new fun fold that I just discovered. Um, while I'm kind of waiting for everybody to log in, um, I wanted to mention that July 1st there will be a sale on um, a select, there's nine different um, designer series papers that will be on sale and I believe you can buy as many as you want. They are 15% off. So um, here's the list of them. You'll also find this on my Facebook page and my blog from today on cottagelanestamper.com. So it's like Beauty of the Earth, um, let's see, Blue Warrior Planet, Hand Pinned, In Good Taste, In the Wild, uh, Pansy Petal, Sweet Cemetery, Tidings of Christmas, and You're a Peach. So, those are the ones that are available, and they are normally eleven fifty, and they'll be nine seventy eight. And the sale runs from July first through um, August second. So, um, just gonna see if I'm showing up on my Facebook page here. any comments. And let's see, um sorry, I've got dry mouth. Anyway, um if you're a demonstrator, they'll actually be you'll get your discount. And as a demonstrator your minimum discount is twenty percent. So you'd get your fifteen and then your twenty on top of that. So it's, it's kinda nice to be a demonstrator. Um I'm going to kind of jump right in here because this um, fun fold is going to take a little bit. It's I think it's really pretty. Um, I'm going to be using the art gallery um, bundle. So if you want this, it's on page 34 in the mini catalog and it is bundled until tomorrow. It is carried over to the new catalog, and it's on page 13, but it's no longer bundled. So you'd be paying, um, you'd be buying the stamp set and the dies separately. So just a word there. And when you buy a bundle, you save 10%. So I just want to mention that before we move forward here. Um, this is a card we're going to make. You can see that. It's called an arrow tent card, and this is the tent part, and then of course the arrow. So we're going to make this, and then I use the um, using art gallery dies and stamp set, and the coordinated painted painted textures embossing folder, and then also um, let's see, I guess that's it, and polished pink. I love that polished pink, um, new colors. It's one of the new ink colors. So I'm just going to set that there. Um, we'll start off with the paper. So I'm going to put my phone down. So we're going to start with, I want to start with the biggest here, and, and the, the white. So you're going to need two um, pieces of basic white that are four and a half by four and a half. Actually, I should mention too, I did find this on um, when I was surfing over the weekend through YouTube or Pinterest, one or the other. And uh, the woman that designed it, I didn't, I couldn't find her name anywhere, but it's called Iced Images. And um, she did it in a six by six size, but it, that would not fit in any of our um, a2 envelope. You'd have to custom make an envelope or buy a bigger one. So I um, adapted it to fit into one of our um, one of our A2 envelopes. So anyway, set that there. So you're going to need two pieces that are four and a half by four and a half. And I'll get into the details later. <laughs> 
then you're going to need another piece that is three and a quarter by three and a quarter and another piece of white that is three and a fourth by three and a half and I thought I was missing I'm missing one piece yep, yep here it is. Uh, it's a couple more here that are still in my box and you'll need another piece that's two and a half by two and a quarter and another piece that is one and three fourths by three and three fourths. Then for the pink, we're going to need a four by four and a four by two. So um, we will get started. So we're going to start with the simple. Basically, you're going to need your um, your trimmer and a ruler and a pencil for this. So we're going to start with one of these four by four, four and a quarter, four and a half by four and a half, and we're going to score it in half, basically, at two and a quarter, and this will be our tenth part. I'm going to just set, set that aside for now. And the other piece that is four and a half by four and a half. We're going to mark it on three sides, a pencil and a ruler, at two and an eighth. So measure this here, two and an eighth, which is half of four and a quarter. Two and an eighth. and an eighth. There we go. Now we're going to take our tacky ruler and we're going to line it up at this, you can see this, the center um, part here and the corner and draw a line from here to there. And do the same thing on this corner. I'm going to turn it a little bit. There. And these are just guidelines because we're going to be scoring right on top of these. And you're going to line it up at the bottom again here and at this mark on the left side. You have no marks at the top, notice. Line it up there and there. And hear myself talking on this one. There. I thought I put it on silent, but evidently the video is coming through. So line it there and here. And so it'll look like that. Okay. So we're going to take our trimmer and we're going to use the scoring blades here so we'll line one up on the bottom right in the, the track right here and the other one up in the corner and the light gray one is the scoring blade and then turn it I kind of like to hold my finger here <laughs> so it doesn't move and make sure you don't cross the lines down here when you're scoring so hopefully I won't do that and this one. Then, I'm going to erase these because we don't need these marks anymore. I hope you have your favorite beverage or a snack. This one will take a little bit longer than normal. Usually my videos are about 20 minutes, but this one may be closer to 40 or 45. California. So then we have our piece scored, and the big V1 is going to be a, a mountain fold. Let's see, what did I do with my phone folder? I have 
one here. And this will be a valley fold. If you don't want a mountain, that means it comes up. And valley means that it, the fold goes down. So, do that, and we're going to do this. That aside for now, and we're going to take our um, four by four inch piece, and we're going to do basically the same thing. We're going to mark this one at two inches. This is four, so mark it at two on three sides. our lines again. It'd be interesting to know if you guys enjoy um, sun folds as much as I do. We did one last week in our class and it was much simpler than this one. <laughs> Sometimes I think I do them just to see if, if I'm able to do it. That's kind of a, like a challenge myself. And we're going to set that one aside. And then we're going to take the white one that is the same. Oh, this one is three and three quarters by three and three quarters. And we're going to mark this one at um, one and seven eighths. Bottom here. And on the sides. There. And before I'm going to draw my lines first, I think. So we're going to draw this line the same way with this one. So these will, these pieces will form the arrow of the card, and I really thought this fun fold would go really well with this um what they call um <laughs> stamp set. <laughs> so I'm gonna bring in my um big boss. And get my paper up underneath it. And since this is a 3D folder, this is the um, painted textures one that coordinates with the um, stamp stamp set and um, dies. So after tomorrow, if you're gonna be looking for these in the catalog. The stamp set is called Art Gallery, and the die set is called Floral Gallery. Like I said, after tomorrow, after the 30th, June 30th, they will not be bundled anymore. So, get this out of here. Sorry, this makes noise. There. I love to fold it up and set it aside. So we have this. Now, I'm going to, we're going to score this. I should have done it on the back side, but you know, I think it doesn't matter which side I use for this. So, um, now we're going to bring our trimmer back in. And we are going to cut along these score lines. 
So if you have, like you're using DSP for this, you'll make, want to make your markings on the back side. So cut that. And cut this one. And this piece, we discard. Don't need that piece, so. Lines not quite with my corner, but my die cut, my cut is so. There we have those, and then we're going to do the same thing with the pink. So line up the corners and the point down here, the V, and cut this right on the side. Now the lady that I watched when she did the first. The bigger piece. Um, she put tape all the way around the bot, the back of it, and I, I did that, and I didn't quite understand it when I got done with it. So I'm not, I must have missed something in the video because <laughs> I didn't quite get it. So we have that done. So I'm gonna just take my, since this is pink, I'm just gonna turn these pieces over. on here or not, I can't tell. There is on this one. So we're just going to, I'm going to use glue because it's easier to um, move around a little bit. Get my silicone mat in here. So it doesn't really matter which side I put it on. love this polish pink. I love pink. <laughs> I, you probably can tell because the last couple projects have been pink. So, um, let's put this on here. And line that up. I'm going to scooch it around a little bit. I like blue because I always end up, for some reason, getting it all over my fingers. going to, see. oh, well, we'll get back to that. Now we're going to attach this to this. Right in the middle here. So line it up. And this one goes down here. Now we're going to mark on the back side here where this goes. this one the wrong way, apparently. Right here. Right here. And right. So, we're going to put glue between those two marks there. when I'm doing something like this, I like to take a big rock, 
and I'm using glue and just set it on top and let it pull down. So I forgot to emboss this small piece for my tent. So this is one and three fourths by three and three fourths and it will go with the um, two and four by two. So I forgot to emboss that. So let me do that really quick. Sorry about that. I usually try to do it all at once. I love this. I did it on another video or a card anyway. I don't know if it was a video. Um, and I put ink on the ink on the, uh, the embossing folder, and it really turned out nice. I thought I, I just loved it. So, um, that's another option that you can do. I tried it with the pink, but it was a little bit too much pink for this card. So. Little, got a little bright, but if you do this in a softer color, I think it turns out really well. So we're going to attach this to this piece here. Some glue. And there is coordinating paper with this too, so if you like the paper, that's also it's part of a sweet actually. So um if you like the sweet, order it today. Because tomorrow, after tomorrow you won't be able to do that. So and I'm going to my fingers and I drag it right through. So I'm just going to put the glue on that side then. So there's our tent. And then to line this up, what you're going to do is you want to find maybe some grid paper or something and line it up here. And I should be using the other side because it's centimeters, but let's see, 15, trying to, I'm actually just going to make a little mark here. Turn my grid paper over. <laughs> Let's do that because it's going to be easier. <laughs> okay. The centimeters on this side. There we go. Now I'm in a happier place. <laughs> For UK people, <laughs> it would be great, right? So I'm going to mark this at six. So, so one, two, three, four and a quarter, one, two and an eighth. So line this up on the grid paper here and here. So I'm just gonna put a little mark there and put, oh, let's see, one. and on the back, I'm gonna mark it so I know where, how far to go with my glue. And you could use tear and tape on this. You, you want a nice strong glue though. You put tear and tape or a stamp and seal plus or um, multi purpose glue. So I'm going to line up the point there and then make sure that it's straight across here. And there is our tent. So I'm just going to set that aside with the block on it so it glues nicely. Then we're going to take our um, three and a quarter inch by three and three half inch piece, and I have the flower and my polished pink. Just gonna I'm going to stamp it off once. I didn't stamp it off once on my sample. 
Now, if you have two colors that go well together, um, oh, that didn't turn out so well. Where is my mat? Here we go. Photopolymer, you need to, and we turn it over, and we try it again. And you want to kind of, on this piece, you want to kind of do it to the bottom, because I left space actually for the sentiment there and now I'm going to take this little piece here a couple of flowers and we're just going to accent these so stamp off once and then hold strength for the second one oh not quite done and I want to stamp the sentiment down here so I just did thank you a little ways from the bottom because we're going to die cut the stamp. So, and with that, and see, I had another, oh, here it is. This is the two and a quarter by two and a half. And I need to clean off the stamp. Here it is. Because we're going to re stamp it. And you don't need a real big piece because we're just going to be stamping the leaves. So, I'm just going to clean this off with my well-loved chamois. I like to stamp it on good paper just to make sure that I got it. So, I'm just going to just stamp the ink on the leaves. And I think I'm going to actually stamp off ones just because it's a little bit lighter with the second um, generation stamping on that. And actually, I'm thinking I like the darker myself, but we're going to go with this. So, I'm going to clean this off. Get it out of here. And I'm bringing my little little blocks. And so I have the I'm gonna die cut the leaves. So and then the I mean the flowers basically. So I like to use removable tape to kind of hold it in place. sentiment. See if I can do it without putting tape on the sentiment. look like a postage stamp. So we have that one. And now okay, get these straight pieces off of here. And now we're gonna die cut the leaves. So I'm just gonna line up the leaves. Now we have our leaves die cut here. So tape off. And put this over 
here out of the way. Now we're going to take our paper snip and we're going to cut off the leaves off of this part. Just kind of fussy cut it a little bit. There. And then I kind of cut off this on the other one too. Because you don't really need it. And it seemed to me it was a bit easier to line up. So. I'm going to take our leaves and we're going to put a little bit of glue here. leave more on there if you want to line it up, if you want to help give you a better idea of how to line it up. And so then I just took some dimensionals, and I think our card base is ready here. You can pick it up. <laughs> and turn you over. Actually, this isn't too long. It's about 30 minutes, so that's not too bad. I have um, some mini ones I'm going to use here on this side. I love these little mini ones. It's such a good idea for them to come out with them. And I probably said this before, but um, they also have them in the black now, too, especially working with a darker color. They won't be so obvious when they're underneath. We never try to make it obvious anyway, but. Like this one here, it's going to be kind of obvious sticking out there. So I just kind of angled it like that. And then I took a glue dot. Kind of balled it up a little bit. And I'm going to put that right there. And I already preached, used some white baker's twine. And then we have our sentiment. And, and this is just a scrap piece of the pink, something that I cut off that was a half an inch. And what I actually did was I just glued this down and then cut it off. dimensional on this side and then a glue dot on this side because this is a little um, different level there so take that off there take off the backing I've done that where I've kind of <laughs> put it together and then left the back I've got a little glue on there so I'll have to use my eraser on there I'm just going to put this right there. And there you have them, side by side. So let me know which one you like better, the lighter one where I stamped off or the, the darker one. And actually, this is a full strength um, polished pink, and then I used Melon Mambo as the accent color there. So let me know which one you like better. So, and um, if you like this set, like I said, um, it's still bundled as of today. I checked right before I came online. It's still bundled, so you can still buy the bundle and save 10%. But after, well, on Thursday, July 1st, um, they won't be bundled anymore. So, if you want to save 10%, order it today or tomorrow. I'd order it today, just to make sure it was still in stock. So, anyway, thanks for joining me. Um, there'll be a PDF of this on my um, cottagelanestamper.com website in the downloads. And I do charge a nominal fee for that, um, just because it does take me some time to, to put it together. So it's not horrendous. Anyway, art gallery is a stamp set. It's got lots of nice sentiments in it for all year round. 
and floral art better floral gallery is the um die set and it's got that big just what does it say just want you to know, want you to know just want oh no just want to say that's what it says <laughs> and it's got the other dies for the other stamp sets in there and then this is the embossing folder painted textures and there's a number if you want to write that down otherwise all this information will be on my um, blog and there will be a quick link to all the supplies you can just click it and buy it all if you want to throw it in your cart so anyway thank you for stopping in i appreciate that and uh, hope to see you next tuesday take care may god bless